you guys for coming out tonight. Our first guest is a special guest of the downtown community. Our, he's the author of Seven Second Black Belt. Let's bring out Sergeant Christopher Curtis. out there. They're just loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's not big, it's just loud. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell people that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Sarge, tell me about your background and how you got into, you know, what you do and where it led you to where you're at now. I was, uh, I'm from New York, New York City. Shout out to all my New York people in the house. Um, I went in the Marine Corps when I was 17 years old. I spent five years in the Marine Corps. I traveled all over the world. And then I hired on to Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department in 1992, where I spent 21 years working on a lot of different assignments. All right. And so how did that lead you to Seven Second Black Belt? So I, I was always the type of person that I, I take a person's safety very, very seriously. I have three daughters. And as I've grown older, uh, the sanctity and safety of a woman is the most important thing, I think, in a society. So to me, to make women feel safe, it drove me to want to write a book that, that people could instantly pick up and learn some of the things that I learned through my experience. Yeah. So did you feel that women were just not learning that out? Well, what happened you know? is so many times people would say, hey, Sarge, what would you do in this situation? Or what would you do in that situation? So what I did was in this book, The Seven Second Black Belt, 77 Scenarios, I took 77 actual scenarios that I've either dealt with or reviewed, and I presented it as a scenario. And in the book, it gives you the opportunity to think about it and respond as to what you would do. And then as a group, you can collectively talk about good or bad things that could occur if you were presented with this situation. And I give little tips throughout the book that it can also help you. So it's an interactive book, correct? Very interactive book. It's, it's more of a workbook, in fact. Uh, at UNLV on May 9th, I'll be teaching a class, and the book is required for the class. And we talk about these scenarios, and we build upon things that would help a person be safer. So it teaches you kind of the mindset you need to get through the scenarios, correct? You are actually a black belt with that answer, because this is not, she is, she is. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. So, the seven, a lot of people think seven second black belt, I'm gonna teach you how to karate chop and do all this stuff. See, the true champion is a person whose record is O and O. Because even if I win, I'm gonna incur some kind of damage. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, what, he's got 48 wins? I can guarantee you that his body is beat up in some way. I wanna go home not having gotten into a fight. And if a, if a robber was to say to you prior to robbing you, five seconds, 10 seconds before, I'm about to rob you, you would know what to do. But let me tell you, they do speak a language, but it's a language with body language. And if you can understand how articulate that language is, you would be able to avoid being involved in these types of situations. And that's what the seven second black belt is. It's the innate black belt that's inside you. Because I can guarantee you, I'm much bigger than you and I'm stronger than you, but I know that there is a person or something in this world that I could not get past you to attack. Every mother in this audience knows that. Every person in this audience knows that there is an innate black belt inside of every single person. We've just been conditioned not to understand that black belt. The seven second black belt is the truest method to bring you back to the core of who you are as a black belt. Got it. Okay, so we're going to practice some, right? We are. We can talk about it all day, but let's practice. Let's it. practice. Okay. okay. So, Go. whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am not fighting her. So here's the, here's the situation, okay? This is the one of the most common situations, again, and it's incredibly serious, and some women may be able to understand or relate to this scenario. Very often, I get women to say, you know what, I've been dating this guy, and he's been treating me weird or treating me strange. He's become violent with me. So here's a scenario that I'm gonna present to you that quite often happens. You are at work, and the guy that you have just broken up with has being He's saying some things to you that are making you feel uncomfortable. In fact, he's saying some things that are making you think that he's going to be violent towards you. You know, I'm actually going through a difficult breakup. Really? Yeah, I, I mean, it's complicated. I don't really want to get into it. But, <laughs> All right, but yeah, uh, no. okay, so okay. Know, okay. So here's the situation. So you are about to get off work, and he's called and said that he is probably going to be somewhere around you or your car when you get off work. You have the wherewithal to say, ask me to walk you to your car after you get off work. This happens all the time. 
So you've picked me to walk you to your car. So what we're going to do yeah, is we're going to... Yeah, who else would I pick? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I wrote the book. Yeah. So, so you're going to have me walk you... I'm going to walk you to your car, and we're going to see how you respond to the situation. He's wearing a gray sweatshirt and a baseball cap, and we'll see what happens if we happen to run into him when we get to your car. Okay. All right? All right. So we're walking out, and now we get to your car, and who do we run into but... This there guy is. who's there giving you a hard time. So the book would be, the book presents this in a, in a different manner, but I'm going to say this to you. How do you respond to this situation now that we're being confronted with this man, your ex, at your vehicle? Oh, oh I want to leave. This is, like, really awkward and uncomfortable. So, I want to get in the car as fast as possible and leave, and leave me by the myself. situation. <laughs> but right. you got this, well, right? Okay, so... First of all, we're going to have to question your judgment for dating him in the first place. Well, but, 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 but let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's get back. To, so let's talk about three things. Three things that you can do in this situation that would be better than just jumping into your car and going. One is, if we know that this man has called and said he could potentially be at your work, how about having a friend drive by and seeing if, you're, if he or their, his car is inside the parking lot? This way we haven't even had to deal with him or engage him. Number two, if we know that, could we park the car next to a window that might be close to where we can look out the window before we have to go downstairs? Remember, that seven-second black belt. Seven seconds that we have before the time that we have to actually engage something. And number three, having your phone ready and on 911 before you actually go downstairs, so all you have to do is push 911. Those are three things that you can absolutely do so that you can still go home with the record of O and O. This person can end up in custody where they belong and get the help that he needs for being rude to a woman, which I would never do. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Don't get me started. <laughs> All right, great. Well, those are some good tips. Where can people find the book to get more information? This book is killing it on Amazon right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> Amazon.com, you can get the book. Seven Second Black Belt, 77 Scenarios. Retired Police Sergeant Christopher Curtis is my name, and you can find it any one of those ways. I really would encourage you to uh, May 9th, UNLV, Continuing Education, click on it. It's going to be a great class. I show actual scenarios and videos, and we go through those things. I would love to see you there and share some information and make everybody safe. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here and for teaching us how to be safe. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Take a break and step out to the dazzling lights. Start where it all began. Try your luck on Fremont East. Listen to live music as you make your way down the street. You'll collide and connect with amazing people. Later in the night, you'll find a variety of restaurants ready to satisfy any appetite or craving you may have. Pick any bar, lounge, or cafe. Have a craft cocktail while the kids go down the slide as you relax and unwind with your favorite drink. Explore the shops and galleries you'll find curated items just for you. You'll love downtown Las Vegas. Show the world. Visit us online at lovedtlv.vegas.